My name is Gabby and I'm here with my partner Migs to perform a short play called Don't Hang Up. This play has topics such as suicide and eating disorder, so if that makes you uncomfortable or triggered, maybe you shouldn't watch it. But if you're fine with this, um, this play is about a call center agent when she gets a concerning call from a 15-year-old girl. Scene. Thank you for calling Drain Right. This is customer service agent 14C. Can I get your name? Is this a real person? This is Agent 14C and I'm ready to unclog your questions. Can I please have your name? I shouldn't give you my name. To protect you. Okay, how can I help you? I'm in the process of using your product for life in that situation. Actually, it's more of a death situation. Thank you for calling. Don't hang up. I'm only allowed to discuss questions related to drain right. Now, in its award-winning 47th year in the nation's war against the toughest of stop drains. I'm wondering how much of this drain right I need to drink to kill myself. Honey, you need to call someone else. Wait, please don't hang up. You need to call somebody else. Talk to a million else's. Besides, all the other else's won't know how much of this stuff I need to drink. You need to call a hotline. The minimum amount. I'll get a number for you. Where are you? I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, home of Muhammad Ali and the Abbey Road on the River, the largest annual Beatles festival in the world. You sound like you're reading that. We got prescripted lines should people ask questions, discoloration, a bunch of things. This stuff does reek wicked. I've never gotten a call for your situation. And is this like really recorded for quality control purposes? I'm the only one answering calls and no one is foolish enough to come and try to quality control me. Now I really need to get back to helping other callers. Wait, if you hung up, then I'm going to drink this whole bottle. It's going to be your fault. You wanted to kill yourself. You'd already done so. You want to play games? That's fine. But I'm not playing games. I'm playing life. You want to play games? You call the next person. I'm really scared. Fine, you want me to talk? You stop crying. I can't hear your voice when you cry. They're shipping me away tomorrow. My parents. At some psycho... At some lock-up psycho joint in Minnesota. Listen, what's your name? I'm not supposed to give out my name. Rules. My call center name is 14C. But you can call me Big T. That's my stage name. What do you mean, stage name? I sing in a band. Like ska, reggae, rage metal band? No, a blues band. Wow, I didn't know people still did blues. At my mama's funeral, this man came to sing and he sang the blues something wonderful. I was sitting there when they made my mama to rest, thinking I want to be forever singing the blues. And I went down to the club first chance I got and went up to the band leader, who was this young and handsome boy. I've been singing ever since at that same club. With that band leader? He's my husband now. Wow, you sing blues with your husband every weekend. Hardly. They don't even let me out here on the weekends. Weekends is when most people call. Stuck here by myself, headset and chair, can't miss any call, can't even get up to go to the bathroom. Where are you calling from? Um, bathroom. In your house? Kind of house. Maybe you could call me little Y. I have two X chromosomes and I wish I had a Y because then I would be a guy and wouldn't have this problem. I don't know about that chromo what some. It's what we learned in science last week, and I like to think there's a little why in me somewhere. All that sci science sounds confusing. You mess with too much science, and you could get hurt. That's what my mama used to tell me. I bet your mom was nice to you. I bet she listened to you. Mama cared about her family. The Lord's Holy Testament and Kentucky basketball. The only time I saw her mix something with God 
with anything else is whenever someone was shooting free throws. I go to my high school basketball games on Friday nights. Must be fun. Yeah, fun. All the girls were dressed up to impress the boys. Courtside babes. Kind of a rite of passage. But it's totally an illusion. Ludwig Born wrote that losing an illusion makes you wiser than finding a truth. That's high school basketball games. Have you ever wanted to kill yourself? How old are you, 15? 15, yeah. Well, little why, I was, younger th I was younger than you when my mama killed herself. My brother and I were playing inside an awful ruckus. Then she told us to shoot outside. And when we came back, she had hanged herself. That's terrible. Yeah, but she made us something to eat before she did it. Fresh cookies in the oven. That's how my mama was. She was always making food, serving up a glorious feast. She never had a thing though, always worried that there wouldn't be enough for us. Why did you, why do you think she did it? I'm not sure. I sure wish I knew. What I do know is that there's a bigger mess you leave behind when you take your life. Your daddy and mama work hard. They want you to have a good life. And they're doing whatever they can, sending you away to help you. My parents are having me institutionalized at some psycho joint because I don't eat. I panic about calories going to my waist. I get up in the middle of the night to run stairs. All the experts say I have to go to a place for head cases like me. But I'm not bullied or teased. I'm not depressed. I just live with mirrors. All the mirrors. There I am, fat and ugly. In real life jail, they would give you baggy jail clothes and, and, don't ha and they don't have mirrors. Real jail would be great because otherwise I'm trapped in mirrors. You know, in a way I'm stuck too, listening to people all day long. Probably annoying hear about everybody's problems. <laughs> That's my life, honey. Not even enough time to go to the bathroom. It's like you deal with all these people trying to make you feel ugly. My company makes this nice product, but the only people who call me are those with problems. I'm in the problem business. Maybe I learned something from my mom all those years ago. How to heal people who can't see their own beauty. I like listening to the sound of people talking. I close my eyes and I can hear their soul. And the sound of a soul could be strong. It could be crushing. It could be fearful. It could be beautiful. But above all, the human voice is a glorious sound. You kids don't talk anymore. All you do is text away, typing words. That word looks just the same as other people who type it. There's not much in the world that's uniquely yours, except your voice, little Y. Those mirrors can stop the way you talk. And you sound beautiful to me. Thank you. I said no crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry for anything. This isn't your fault. Things of this nature aren't anybody's fault. Maybe like your mama. Maybe like my mama. Maybe this is where I'm meant to be for whatever reason. Maybe we're all we're supposed to be for whatever reason. And maybe I'm supposed to be sent away. Maybe one day I'll be sitting here and the phone will ring and I'll close my eyes and I'll be able to hear her voice. Big T, can I make a confession? Go ahead, honey. I'm not really in my bathroom. I stole my mom's car and drove away until it's gas run out. I lock, I lock myself in a Waffle House bathroom. I don't want to die in a Waffle House bathroom. Then surely don't order from the grill. I locked myself and found the bo this bottle of Jane Wright and this plunger. Good thing you didn't call the plunger helpline. Is there a mirror over the sink? Big T, do you think I can call you again? From Minnesota? I'm not supposed to. You're the only person that's made sense. They give you phones at this place? I'll figure a way. 
All right. We'll call your mama and tell her where you are. I don't know about that. You listen to me. You call your mom and tell her where you are. Then you go out to the counter and order some hot soup and eat it. Then take the drain right bottle with you and you call that number when you get to where you're going. But first, before any of that, tell me if there's a mirror above the bathroom sink. There is. Look at it. Go on. Put yourself in front of it and look at it. I'm looking. Thank you for calling the Drainright Product Support Hotline. Have I answered all your questions to your satisfaction? Yes. Can you be safe? I'll call you Big D. And thank you. Drain right support, this is Agent 14C and I'm ready to unclog your questions. Sir, can you can you hold one second? Thank you for holding. You were saying something about discoloration? 